Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who work with Laravel and sometimes shoot demo projects or lessons about it. Topic of today is performance optimization for Eloquent and for API specifically. The problem that I'm seeing is everyone is optimizing Eloquent and SQL and uh, controllers and uh, database layer. But what about the data that we return from API? Aren't we returning too much of it? Because I've noticed in quite a few projects, the performance optimization comes down to if something goes wrong with the website. So web page is loading slowly, then someone looks into a Laravel debug bar or any other tool, notice some eloquent query being wrong or slow, and then they optimize that. But API is actually kind of a hidden thing, hidden part of the application when uh, it's less being debugged and less monitored for the speed because it's less visible. So imagine a case where you have a drop down somewhere on the page uh, to choose a user. And here we have users table. I've seeded fake uh, thousand users. And imagine uh, you have to load all of those users into the drop down via API. So Vue.js or jQuery or JavaScript uh, calls the API returns the thousand users and then put them in a drop down. It's not really a realistic scenario, but uh, anyway, uh, let's see what would happen here and how we can optimize that. So typical scenario would be route in API, uh, then a controller and then controller returns user all. And user just uh, is a typical user table uh, of Laravel project. And if we launch that via Postman, we get something like that. So name, email, all the, all the names, all the fields that are in the user's table, except for password maybe, and some of them hidden. Just to make sure to repeat the test, I've reseeded the database and run it again. So pretty similar results with another seeded thousand users. And let's take a look at project ID field, which is additional to the user's table. And what if for that dropdown, we need actually not all of those, but only fields ID, name, and project name, which is relationship. So user belongs to a project, and then there should be ID, name, and project name. And what we could do, of course, is user with project, and project is a relationship, get, right? And if we relaunch that one, we would get all the, the same fields. In addition, we would get project. And for some reason, it's really slow on my uh, my Postman or MAM server, whatever. Uh, but it's size of the request. That is what I want to emphasize. Not only the time, time may be relevant to your server, but size of the request back is one megabyte. And one megabyte, it, it may not seem a lot for fast internet, but on slower internet or in case of people using it on mobile with limited amount of uh, data of megabytes or gigabytes, they will be pretty angry if they know that you send one megabytes, uh, although you don't even need that description at all. So let's uh, simplify that and let's use a thing called collection, API collection, API resource actually, resource collection, and let's have this structure. So this will be PHP artisan make resource uh, user collection as resource and we specify exactly the fields that we want uh, and we do something like this. So I've already pasted the correct result here. So if we return user collection with only the fields that we need, let's see. So remember one megabyte. Now the request will be, it won't be much faster. Well, it will be, but not, not by much but the size of the result is 100 kilobytes. So by using the correct fields, you just made the API request run 10 times faster. So my point of this video is optimize not only Eloquent, not only database query, not only SQL, but the amount of data you actually return from your API. It's really easy to return user all or user with get, something like that, uh, but return only the fields that you actually need. And if you need one more field on the front end, so front ender should tell the back ender uh, that they need one more field, and then back ender goes into that user collection and adds, for example, project description or something like that. So this is my overall message return, only what you need to return, and then API returns will be faster. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.